Hi, welcome to today's live stream from Logosol. Uh, if you want to know more about Logosol and our products, uh, please, uh, please visit logosol.com. Uh, if you go there, you can find pricing and everything online. If you want to see uh, more of our live streams, you can visit our Facebook page, Logosol Portable Sawmills, or you can go to uh, YouTube and then and there we're also called Lugus Portable Sawmills. Um, we have all our previous live streams, 70 plus live streams and uh, a lot of other uh, video content on our products. So today uh, we're actually going to show you how to build your own very uh, easy to build and simple log table yes or log ladder or whatever you call it but it's it's a construction that makes it easy to get the logs up on the same height as your uh, as your sawmill as the chainsaw mills are um, placed about 60 centimeters above the the ground so it's actually a quite common question that we get uh, how do you get the logs up to the to the correct height and we're actually going to give you a few uh, tips and tricks during this live stream and we're going to show you how to build your own uh, log table and show you some of the tools that we use uh, when we're around the, our sawmills um, and uh, remember to ask questions in the chat uh, Karin will be uh, scanning the chat all the time and, and interrupt us <laughs> <laughs> uh, whenever you have a question. So uh, uh, write as many questions as possible in in the <laughs> shortest time possible. Yeah. No, but you are uh, welcome to write questions. As Do many you like as you to want. have a lot of pauses? <laughs> <laughs> <So> <laughs> We want to have a. It's always nice to have a lot of questions, that yeah, so that we yeah. can uh, break off during uh, during the live stream. Absolutely. Um, mm. But uh, we're going to start with uh, some milling on the chainsaw mill that we have uh, in the back of us here to make the material that we need to build our own uh, log table. So let's get started. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we actually have on the uh, we, we have two sawmills here. We have the F2 and we have the F2 plus. Uh, the F2 doesn't have a, a chainsaw attached to it at the moment. It's just for for display. We're going to show you uh, how the log table will look in front of the chainsaw mill. And on the F2 plus uh, with the electric chainsaw, we're going to mill some. Uh, two by eight uh, planks so that we can start uh, building our own log table and we've actually prepared uh, one side of the log table so we're going to mirror this and build the uh, side that's going to be on the right side and then we're going to connect them together and show you how to get the log up onto here and how easy it is to roll the log from the log table and onto the mill. So, but first of all, uh, let's do some uh, milling. And we need at least three two by eights. Yes. And uh, we also need a few one by four. four. Yeah. So that we can use as the uh, diagonal uh, uh, connecting boards that will hold the uh, left and right side together steady. So, it's, uh, it's a massive log. Do you think the guide bar will go all the way through? If yeah. we are lucky. So 
So we're, we're going to start off uh, by making a, um, a cut to remove the, the slab and then turn it around and make a cant out of it, an 8 inch wide cant that will start um, ripping up into 2 inch planks. Yeah. So, <laughs> gone. gone, everything out the window. Yes. So we take one, uh, one inch of this and we make Yeah, one. we can, because then we can do two one inch boards yeah. out of this. Yeah, so we'll raise it up four clicks for an inch yes and one for the and bar and one for the curve So, and then we'll turn it around, all the way around. Yeah. You take the... Let's take the log turner. Log turn. Smart Turner. Yeah, at the yeah. website.
And it's called a smart turner because it is smart. And it turns logs. And it turns logs. <laughs> Very uh, safe. And <laughs> in a safe way. <laughs> in a safe way because you can you can use um, two grips. You can hold it firmly with one grip and then take another a new grip with the second handle. So that's that's why we call it the smart turner. Guys, listen to this comment. Yeah. It's from Harry. Nice to see you guys. Your sawmills are by the far the best. Um, I will buy one when I get home and start work again. Great. Oh, Thanks amazing. a lot. Amazing. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Great. Thanks, Harry. Great comment. So, yes. We are we going make to make uh, an 8 inch cant? Mm -hmm. We and we have also questions about prices. What is the price of the setup we are using? Yeah, and, and as I said um, at the beginning, if you want to know uh, pricing on the stuff that we show here, uh, everything is on our homepage. So if you go to logosul.com, you can find the prices for the F2+, Plus, F2, the Smart Turner and the Smart Pusher the electric chainsaw mills and everything. You can find it online. Yes, yeah, so we're making eight inch block. Eight inch. And we can make, I think we can make one more, two inch. So that's 10, ten, and, ten and a quarter. 10 and a quarter. So we'll put the log lifters on 10 and a quarter. Because then we know, you can check that one if I put it correctly. Looks good. Because it, it was really close to, no, yeah. but that's ten and a quarter. Yeah. Because then if we do ten and a quarter, uh, we will lift it up uh, eight, nine clicks after this cut. And then uh, we will end up with the eight inch uh, distance between the bottom of the guide bar and the log bed. Yeah. So after this cut now we we move the log lifters up and uh, nine clicks. Which should uh, and the log lifters should end up with on eight inch. Good. We have two more questions. Yeah, no? go ahead. Uh, do you ship direct to USA or do I have to find a dealer? Thanks, Jeff. Um, hi, Jeff. Uh, if you want to purchase in the US, uh, just head over to lugosul.us and you can uh, find the list of dealers and distributors in the US over there. And they'll be happy to help you out. And did the we have second a second one? question? Yeah. Can you please try to try the thinnest plank that it can mill? 
Uh, we can, we yeah, we can show you. The thinnest plank it can mill is uh, a quarter of an inch. A quarter, yes. Uh, due to the increments uh, on the uh, log lifters, we because every every turn is a quarter of an inch, and the and the curve is a quarter of an inch. So when we turn it around and make the first uh, take uh, the takeoff, the, yeah. the slab, the first slab, we can just raise it two clicks which means that we will raise it for the curve and then one uh, quarter of an inch board, yeah. thin board. So we can, we can do that mm -hmm. to show. It's, Great. It's, uh, Super. it's uh, nice to, to do sometimes. It's, yeah. quite, it's quite cool with those really thin boards. So which side do you want up? Should we start with that one or? Oh, okay. We can, we, we, I think we take it. Take it that way. way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, so now when we made our cant, we know this is the width of the boards or planks we're going to make. Uh, and it's 8 inches wide. So now it's time to start slice it up. Fourteen. Fourteen. Sounds good to me. Yeah. So we'll take a, a, a slab now. Yeah. And then we'll just raise it two clicks to show you the thinnest board. You can actually cut cut thinner with the chainsaw mill. I mean, this is just a limitation of the of the lifting system that it's in, in increments of quarter of an inch. Of course, you can put just something much thinner underneath the cant. Mm and cut thinner than that. But we'll show you the quarter of an inch board and see how it looks. I forgot to say, I think, uh, we have the the log table. I didn't say anything about the log table on, in front of the F2+. Plus, did no, I? yeah. Did I? Nope. Nope. 
This is the uh, the log table. This is actually something that you can purchase from Logosol. Uh, it's actually twice the length. This is just the, the demo version that we're using ourselves. But when you purchase it from Logosol, it's uh, it's uh, twice the the length and the width is adaptable. You use uh, planks to connect the the legs together and it's also adjustable in height and it comes with these uh, flaps that you can lock in position to prevent the the log from rolling uh, off the table and it gives you space to walk between the um, the um, sawmill and the log table and when you're ready to load on on a new log you just fold them down and then you can roll the log on the uh, uh, log uh, log turners so that is something you can purchase from Logosol but uh, what we're going to show you today is how you can build your own uh, do-it-yourself log table perhaps the f your first uh, milling project so let's see now for the Ultimate challenge. Yes. Two clicks. One click for the curve. And one click for the board. Or do you call it board when it's a quarter of an inch? It's almost veneer. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, so that's the <laughs> the thinnest thinnest board you can do with just using the uh, the increments on the log lifters. I don't think this is the best quality no, that we're using no. right now. It's really thin. I think you even can see see light through it, and really accurate. The same. Same thickness all the way. It's also easy to, to check if everything is set yeah. up correctly by making a, a really thin board like this. Uh, but we don't have any use for that right now because now we're going to make a log table. Uh, and then for the log table, we're going to use two by eights. We have a comment and a question. Is that okay now? Yeah. Yes. Uh, enjoying the stream while we run our M7. Looking forward to an F2 plus in our future. A reminder that North America is waiting for an electric powerhead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We know. We know, <laughs> yeah. And I don't have a, a clear, clear answer, but uh, I'm, I'm happy to hear that you yeah. are anticipating a, an electric saw head. Unit, yeah. But for now, only for Europe. And the next one is a question, and i remembering this guy has written before. <laughs> I'm still anxious to see an example of curved sweeped or irregular logs being cut uh, in the chainsaw mill. Do you have any odd pieces of wood to cut on today's live stream? No, I don't think so. Uh, not today, but uh, we, we, uh, we have it in mind. I yeah. know uh, we got the question before and uh, we'll see if we can find some irregular wood pieces. Yeah. It's it's really hard to come by, especially, not especially for us, but 
we have a hard time finding lumber that we can purchase for for Logosol for doing the live stream uh, live streams. So especially and finding those uh, special trees or some fruit trees or something. We'll, we'll, but we'll see what we can what can what we can figure out. Yeah. But thanks for the suggestion, and, and I, I remember... Somebody can cut an apple tree down or yeah, something. Yeah, we can, we can ask someone to take. Yeah. Corin, do you have an apple tree? We <laughs> no, 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 no apple trees. <laughs> <laughs> Don't no, take but, mine. but I understand. I, it's, uh, it would be actually cool to show it as well. because yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Normally, the, the species itself, it's, it's normally a quite nice, a nice look to it as well. Mm. Mm -hmm. So I think I've raised it nine clicks on Both each side. log lifter. Yeah. Good. Or I hope so, anyway. Tom. Uh, so we can so make a two-inch uh, plank. Yeah. And we needed three. Three, yes. Yeah. Nice. So then we have the material we need to almost. do almost. Yeah, In right. England. Right, <laughs> and uh, we put that one so at the bottom, right? Bottom, of course. Exactly. We have this one. Yeah. I'm gonna take. So now we're uh, showing you how to edge the uh, 
live edge boards that we have. Now we only put one here, but it's more efficient to put two, three, or four next to each other, as long as they are reasonably same in, in size and width. Yes. 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 Uh, what are delivery times to the states on mills? Um, uh, approximately one week, I think. Mm. Yes. Uh, next question. When I uh, clamp my log down with a log clamp, it torques my log bed to the side. Is that normal? Or do I need to release the pressure some on my log clamps? Uh, could be depending on what log clamps you have, but the, the Excel log clamps uh, gives you, I mean, you get really, really powerful and strong with the Excel log clamps, so you can actually clamp them too much. And if you do, uh, a thing you should uh, check is actually the uh, the guide, the, the plastic slide that is fixed in the front of the log bed and slides up and down inside this profile. If you torque it too hard, you can actually uh, crack that uh, plastic slide. And if you've done that, you will actually, every time you clamp it, you will uh, move the, uh, the log bed a bit even more and you get less uh, and less accurate cut. So check the plastic slide and then I mean, don't clamp the uh, the logs that hard. Clamp them just with the force necessary to hold it when milling. So uh. that's... Uh, I think the best way is just to push, push it so it's attached and then attach that and, and you get uh, Yeah, I mean, force. Uh, the only time when you need to clamp it really hard is when you have a, a smaller log yeah. and when it's round underneath. When you're making the first cut, a really small log can actually start turning with the uh, with the chain, so um, just clamp it a bit harder for those times when you need it. Other than that, you don't need to clamp it that hard. And when you have a flat side underneath, uh, the clamping force needed is not uh, that much. It is uh, Excel clamps on a F2 plus. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, on yes. an F2 plus. Hmm? So the four four inch four inch to be turned. Maybe we can get rid of that. Oh piece. yeah. Okay <coughs> then. Uh, and then four A eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. That means that we get an eight inch in the bottom and we can split that into, into two. It, yeah. Four inch boards.
putting this to. Here's a question from uh, Danny Dietz that won a timber jig a few yeah. weeks yeah. ago. I yeah. remember. Uh, can I use the XL log clamps on my M7 mill? Yes, uh, the XL log clamps will fit uh, both the um, M7, M8, and all the farmers F F1, F2, and F2 plus mills. So you can, and it's uh, they are uh, really great clamps. Yeah. Work really well. Excellent. So we got three boards out of that. Yeah. Good thinking with the with the side side there, and we just put it on. So. So what do we do first? Uh, we need to to cut the. Two by eights to length. Yeah. So and we'll start with uh, with the longest one, I guess. And the why we uh, why we have chosen eight inch uh, width is because uh, three eight inch planks is basically the uh, the same height as the as the log log turners, the log beds on the chainsaw mill. So it's a very good good height to use uh, for building it. And then you can have three of these and make the stair-like uh, structure of the log table. Yeah. So the bottom one is 2 meters 20. 220, yes. <laughs> and I'll just put them flat on the ground and we can attach the the pieces that hold them together on the inside, then we'll have a left and right side. We have uh, 170, well, I think. Yeah, I don't know. And yeah, we can do it like this 120 and 170. So, so now we get out two of this one. Ah, okay. Ooh. Mm. Good thinking. Less waste. So that's the and then we need and then we're using the same two by eights to make the uh, the connecting ones. And those are, so we need two that's a bit longer. Yes. And one that's shorter. So the two longer ones needs to be the same length as 
as the three eight three, inch yes. planks and the shorter ones as two. We have some feedback from the guy who asked about the Excel log clamps. Yes. Uh, okay, thanks. Love using my F2 Plus. So glad I have one. Got my wife to run it too. Now we have all sorts of projects in the future. Just, just need an extra log bed soon. Thanks again for all help. Okay, great. Uh, thanks and good luck. Just let us know if you need any more help or support. Just uh, give us a call or send us an email. Mm. Happy to hear that you involved your wife as well. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's good to, uh, when you can do stuff together. I mean, it must be amazing to be able to both like produce uh, lumber and to bu build something together. So. So, so now everything is prepared, we can just uh, screw them together. And I can just sit here and watch. Yeah. yeah. Uh, now I know you said uh, that the log beds can hold uh, 1,500 kilos. But if I had four log beds on a four meter F2 plus, could I have 3,000 kilos log on it? If the, if the weight is distributed evenly across the four log beds, then yes. The, the load together will be 3,000 kilos. Mm -hmm. uh, but still, when you have a log that's not perfectly straight, it will probably rest on two uh, log beds so just be just be careful but it but it, it works but mm -hmm. as long as you lift them up uh, evenly instead of just lifting in in one end with only one log uh, log bed but yeah it works and a comment from Danny again Pete. yeah I have assembled the timber jig and the fence and will be trying uh, it out the upcoming weekend. Thanks again and thanks for the hat. Ah, so <laughs> cool. <laughs> Good luck, Danny. Uh, great to hear from you. <laughs> yeah. Post a picture and tag Logosol. Yeah, do that. If you have, yeah, I think you have an inst Instagram. Yeah. Uh, show your picture there and tag Logosol <laughs> Portable Sawmills. So, so, oh, are we are we finished now? Uh, almost. 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 They, they seem kind of like, uh, um, I don't know what to say. We are speaking in Un Anders is working. Un unbalanced. <laughs> they seem unbalanced. What do we do about it? I don't think I want to put the log on here. But if you hold them on the side. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I, I think we need these ones. Yeah. And that's because these ones are going to be holding the the log beds together. Oh, thank you. Oh, straight. Straight. Good work. Oh, thanks, I think. You don't have a license for this? No. <laughs> I mean, I can, <laughs> when, when, uh, if things go, goes wrong now, I can blame you. Yeah, but uh, the measurements <laughs> are yours.
that's one. Oh, so you mean? So you mean we can use it as a template? What if we made the first one wrong? Then all of them will be wrong. Ah, okay. <laughs> But that's that's what you what you need to do if you want to mill even more. Yeah, yeah. You know what we did? No. We actually made some uh, less. We need more. But then I have this one. Ah. As every on TV. Yeah, but uh, do do you think they're the same? No, length? that's not. The sh then we have to make one more. Oh, you made only three of them. Yes. More. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because this isn't. I mean, I I think this isn't good for anything. No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is this is what you call bad wood. Mm -hmm. uh, this was kind of rotten inside. So not good for construction. Lumber. Should we um, mill one more or should we do it as they do on TV and on the replace TV? this? Yeah, we can do we can do yeah. we have yeah. we have everything prepared. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we have show how to do it. We you know exactly how to and do it. Whoops. And <laughs> ta-da! This is this is just perfect. Just the way I wanted them to be. So now we uh, screw them together on the sides of the uh, of these planks that we put put here and good yeah and there is a reason to why we chose these uh, two inch planks here because then you have enough material to uh, to screw in. And this is something you easily can build yourself with, uh, with the logs you have. I mean, it's a very good first project. Uh, you all know that it's really good to, like, to get the logs up from the ground. So if you have either logs or uh, planks in the bottom first, where you have the logs uh, when you take them from the forest, then it's good to have something like this so that it's easy to get the log up onto the sawmill itself. And then the width, uh, it could be good to, to make it a bit narrower depending on the size of the logs you're uh, milling. But if you have it a bit narrower, you can actually slide it in even more um, under the uh, log beds. And if you have it wider, you can accommodate longer logs. But this is made for the F2 we have here, four meters long. And we can have uh, logs that we uh, want to mill on the, um, 
on the chainsaw mill. So if you want to get the log onto here, you can lift it in one end and in the other end. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I'm going to use. Yeah. <laughs> use the tool. I can I can get it. <laughs> that wasn't fair. Wasn't a fair comparison. But you you can have that. Oh, thanks. And I can I can lift. I can yeah. use my muscles on this side. I don't know, should I start and lift it up? Yep. First, yep. if you if you give me some help. Like that. And then Anders can use the smart pusher that we have. So it's, uh, it's really, really good because you have a hook that you uh, attach above the center of the log. And then you can just lift it up and tilt it up on the next step. And then we can do the same for getting it all the way up. If the log would have been a bit more to this side, we could have lifted it up completely. But a really good tool if you want to save your save your back. Like that. So now we can, I don't know if we should slide it a bit. This. So. And now it's easy to just roll it over to the sawmill and you're ready to start milling. Do we have any more questions? No, not now. Uh, we showed you some tools. We've showed you the uh, smart pusher, uh, which is actually a, a tree pusher, but we actually use it almost only for lifting, yeah. for the log lifting capabilities of it. It's a super helpful tool. Uh, when you want to lift the logs up from the ground. Even lifting it up from in front of the chainsaw mill, up on the log bed on one side, going around, lifting it up on the other side as well. Uh, we showed you the smart turner, and we actually have a new tool. We have a really uh, good uh, can hook, something that we've been missing in our program, so a really heavy duty uh, can hook for these larger logs, for logs from 30 centimeters and up. It's got a, a solid beak here and a hook in the bottom that gives you, that holds the log really uh, firmly in a firm grip. And you have these long uh, aluminum handle that gives you strength. And this can be found on our homepage as well. Uh, can hook. Excel? Yes. And this will also come in a, a version with a, with a longer handle as well to give you even more uh, strength. And then we also have the tool that everyone should have around the sawmill. A normal lifting hook really good for just getting the the log rolling the log lifting it turning it whatever it's it's really good to to have it around the sawmill it's that called can also smart hook yeah the smart, smart hook. hook very good thank you um the smart hook can also be found on our webpage Does it hold? Yeah. Um, <laughs> good. This log table uh, is good for for a smaller amount of logs, uh, perhaps not the full truckload of logs. Then there are other options, or you can have a log table in front of these, uh, in front of this log bed that's just in, uh, next to the sawmill. Um, but really useful, easy to build yourself, and uh, helps you out all the time during 
uh, chainsaw milling, and it can be used for a, for a bandsaw mill as well. Yeah, yeah. Really easy to get the logs up, and you can also build it to have it to use it with our uh, timber jig system as well, and attach the guide rails onto it, so you have your own little uh, chainsaw mill. Uh, if you want to know more about Logosool and our products, please visit our homepage. Go to logosool.com to find pricing and more information about uh, Logosool and us. Uh, if you want to see our previous live streams, you go to our Facebook page, Logosool Product <coughs> Sawmills, <laughs> or you go to YouTube, and that's also Logosool Portable Sawmills. Thank you so much for uh, watching, uh, asking questions, and all the great feedback we get. Uh, next week we're having a live stream where we're actually going to show the LM410, the log molder on the B751 Pro. But we're not going to mold uh, log profile. Log profile. Cabin log, log house, log cabin profiles yeah. with it. We're actually going to plane. So we're going to make beams and we're going to plane the beams uh, flat. So don't miss that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye. Thank you. Thank bye, you. bye. bye.